Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about possibly the worst product you could ever buy. Now this is a product that has been reviewed on Tolarian Community College's page. I wanted to make a video on this as a historical reference to what has been said. I do have a feeling that this video may go down, but nonetheless it is a deck created by Card Kingdom that is $6.99. And you can go ahead and check out what cards are in the deck. I don't think there's a single card over a dollar. It is a 60 card deck that is playable. If only Wizard of Coast gave out decks like this, right? Wait a second. They do. And they have better cards, including rares. There are, I mean, Nightmare and Sarah Angel. They're not amazing cards, but they're better than whatever this is. So I went on the website to investigate and they don't even have a deck list. So pretty much it's 60 random bulk cards for $6.99. Now you might ask yourself, oh, of MTG line, this product's not for you. This product is not, it's for a new player. And the new players, instead of buying Planeswalker decks or some introduction deck or even just booster packs, would buy this deck and it would teach them how to play magic. The video was over a year ago, so imagine my surprise when they were still selling the product. I said, huh, I wonder what is in the product. I wonder if these decks have a deck list like ordinary products do. And the answer is no, they do not have a deck list. They're literally just giving you 20, 24 random lands and some bulk. There's no guarantee for a rare. There's no guarantee for a mythic. So let's read it. Uh, you even can get a playmat. So for $29.99, which they obviously sold out because it's such a great deal. Rogue decks are simple 60 card Magic the Gathering decks, perfect for teasing new players. You literally have these quote rogue deck card. You, you have, it's just bulk. Each deck comes with a keyword glossary and turn order guide. I wish Wizard of Coast would create one of those for us. I mean, gosh, how would anyone ever know how to play Magic? Packed in a clear plastic case, worth five cents, these decks are ready for you to enjoy. All right, and then they even made play mats. They really went, like, they went all out on this product. And it would be okay if the product received, like, a C or a B, but this product, given Tolarian's very rigorous guidelines of grading received an A minus. Think about all the products that have reviews less than an A minus on his channel. And the fact that this is an A product and it really is just 24 lands and 56 bulk or not even 56, 36 bulk cards that Card Kingdom has on, like you, normally when you click on something, you get a, a list. Let me tell you what's selling on Dave and Adams right now. Uh, you have event decks, Zenikar event deck. You have another event deck for $9.99 with discounts, free shipping, all that stuff, and free uh, gifts. You probably can get it down to $6.99. Now, why the blank would anyone buy this? It's because Tolarian told you to buy it, and you're going to buy this until the cows come home. You're going to buy this, which it literally it's <laughs> a bulk. <laughs> it's literally bulk. They don't even tell you what's in the product. That's how bad a product is. So there's no guarantee for rares or mythics or even uncommons, to be honest. Rookie decks are simple 60 card. I already read that. Each deck comes with a keyword glossary in turn or the guide packed in a clear. Okay, I read that already as well. Rookie White charges into the fray with heroic creatures that swarm the battlefield and attack the enemy en masse. There is not a deck list. It is $6.99. Apparently, they sold a bunch of them, and there's no deck list. You don't actually know what you're getting. It could be just, just the most terrible bulk you can imagine. And that is the problem. Uh, there, there's a lot of problems with people promoting different products, but if the product is kind of bad, and you say it's good, you look very foolish. How did this get A minus, you might ask? Hmm, who is Tolarian's main sponsor? Hmm, do they make this product? 
Oh, their name is on the product, Card Kingdom. Nice. For new players. Just because you say for new players doesn't mean that you get to hose them, dudes. Like, hey, or in dudettes, I guess, or they. Hey, they. Just because they are trying to host they new players, you know, I have to go up high. I have to. I don't want to be banned, so I have to use the word they instead of he or she because now we are non gendered as a player base. You don't get a deck list, there's no guarantee. This is, imagine these bulk lots that these quote MTG finance people are selling. They sell $1,000 lots for I think $5 or $10 and they're guaranteed amount of uncommons, you're guaranteed amount of rares and mythics and you buy these batches. But instead of that, we're gonna just give you 60 cards. You're not gonna know what the cards are, but if you watch the video and you look at the value and you calculate the value of all cards above $1 from Tolarian's video, they would, you would have a total cost of $0. There's nothing valuable in those decks. There is literally nothing of value. And you're not even guaranteed the same deck. So the deck they, they send Tolarian is going to be a much better deck they send you. That's just how it works, right? That's how the monthly magic box works. That's how Pico Trade works. The monthly magic box, it's going to always make sure the people making the reviews like Rocks and Boxing, Tolarian, Mana Source, they will get their boxes on time so they can make their boxes promoting that certain, or they can make their videos promoting that certain box. The same with Pico Trade. If I gave you $30,000 to spend like you want, whatever you wanted, you can make a multiple legacy decks. Would you have a better experience on Pico Trade if you're never sending cards out? Yes, you would, because all you're doing all you're doing is receiving cards. You don't have to deal with shipping, you don't have to deal with postage, you don't have to deal with going to the mail offices, you don't have to actually even put up what you own. You just receive cards. So here is another example. Rookie Green summons gigantic beasts that dwarf the other creatures on the battlefield. Again, there is no deck list. Um, I do understand that perhaps, you know, they want to use different cards. But these cards are just bulk. How did this product get an A- when so many other products do not? It is very strange, and I wanted this video, I wanted to make this video with these screenshots as historical reference. Because a lot of people say that you can be you can be sponsored and be unbiased, you can be paid and be unbiased. I don't think that's the case. Again, if you have if I give you thirty thousand uh, dollars to promote Pico Trade, and all you have to do is sit back and receive thirty thousand dollars of magic cards, your experience is gonna be really different from someone who is a normal player. So here is the conclusion. As a starting tool for new and returning players, rookie decks are excellent. Complete 60 card decks with a focus on a single mechanic that is easy to grop, grok, and compete with card size inserts that aid in understanding the phases of a turn. These are the best product to begin learning the game with. Not a Wizard of the Coast product with Planeswalkers and are the free introduction deck that all these stores have. I know sometimes the stores don't give them out, but they really should because those are the products. Instead, you would pay $6.99 for this corporate product of bulk. I hate to say this because it, came, it, it sounds like I'm uh, saying this over and over again, but I'm trying to make the point very clear to you. If your business is promoting magic products, you will promote magic products that you either know or it's pretty obvious is a bad product. Then you will give it a good grade, like an A minus, because you want to sell them. And then you will sell them. You will be selling a lot of bulk. Now I get what where this product is coming from, you know, but we have Planeswalker decks for under ten dollars in David Adams. We have event decks for under ten dollars in David Adams. We have so many other products like even the standard what was it the the standard reprints i'm forgetting his name the challenger decks that's 30 dollars, uh, and you can get it at any walmart it's a lot better than this like why would you want five decks of jank 
right? Like this is the definite, how does this get an A minus? How does this get an A minus is my question. When supposedly it's a hard grade, it's difficult to get this A minus. Even the monthly magic box, I don't think got A minus until like, maybe in the beginning it did. I have to go back and look. It is just mind boggling to me that a product like this without a deck list, no guarantee of rares or mythic. I mean, you can throw in cheap rares. Come on now, you can afford it. It's a $6.99 product. And you pay shipping on it, by the way, too. So it's not like Dave and Adams where you get it for free. I'm looking at products today and I'm looking at this. I can either get a Chandra deck with a Hazrat and a Chandra, or I can get five of these janky decks with who knows what's in them. But I do know that there's no guaranteed rare, there's no guaranteed mythic, there's not even guaranteed uncommon. There's no deck list, and this gets A minus. I wanted to make this video to have a, a historic reference because I do believe this is the worst magic product I've ever seen. Even when you talk about really bad ma magic products, they have a deck list. You know kind of what you're getting. This is a 60 card pile of jank. If you need basic lands, your local game store will give you basic lands. You're not I mean, my local game store has them all the time for drafts and stuff. And I'm sure that if you're a new player, somebody will make you a deck. Go to your local game store, talk about it, and they're actually going to use relevant cards in standard to give you a deck so you can actually play the most played format. Or your local game store will actually have decks that Wizard of Coast gives them, and they do have rares in them. Not great ones, but rares nonetheless. Or you're going to go to FNM and the player base is going to be really kind to you. Like all of this is targeting people not to go to local game stores. And that's been my biggest pet peeve about this was this dude used to be all about local game stores. Then he got sponsored by Card Kingdom. And now we're selling these janky decks. No, if you want to learn magic, go to your local game store. Somebody will give you a deck. If you see me, I'll give you a deck. I'll buy some random packs and we'll make a deck for you. I'll keep the rares, of course, the mythics, but you can have the rest. That happens all the time. You don't need to pay $6.99 plus shipping for this. It's, a ten, it's over $10 when you add shipping to it. Like, why would anyone buy this product? And why would anyone give this product an A-? minus? The question is... So the answer is rhetorical, of course. It's to sell the product and make money for everybody involved. Simple. Anyway, that is it. Bye, guys.